Welcome to our 2024 Falcon Women's Soccer season preview. My name is Matt Mendel, being joined by senior midfielder Sheridan Dorge. Let's start there. You're a senior. How's it feel to know that this is it? It's scary. I've almost cried about it a few times, <laughs> but I don't know. It feels like four years have gone by really fast. It'll be weird being here next year because I changed my major midway through, but not being able to play. So I'll still be on campus just watching from a different sideline, I guess. <laughs> and you'll be one of eight seniors on the roster. Is there pressure there for the leadership standpoint? And you're one of the elders now. You're, they're looking at you for leadership. Um, in terms of pressure, I wouldn't say that there is much because there is eight of us. I think the roles are pretty evenly spread out, which is really good for the whole team, really. Everybody brings something unique to the table. Some are louder than all others and quieter than others lead in different ways. So I think it's especially really good for the big freshman class that we had come in and just any other underclassmen that we have. So yeah. how have the uh, newcomers been fitting in? Oh, my gosh. So well, it's been it feels like we've been together for longer than a week and a half or two weeks that it's been, but they came in day one and they, they came to play. They, they're not messing around this year. They came in ready. <laughs> we talked about your role as being now a leader, but how about your play on the field? Does your role change at all from where it was last year? Um, not that I know of right now. Um, just I'm, I'm back. So not much for limitations this year, which is great. Hopefully end the career off with a bang and, try and be as fast as Sabrina Moore. <laughs> well, I remember last year you scored a goal against Edgewood, so maybe a couple more goals this year out of you. What do you remember about that goal against the Eagles? Oh, my gosh. I remember my parents were here. It was one of the three or four games that they were actually able to come down and visit for, so that was super fun. Um, I don't even remember how it happened. I kind of just shot it, and I was shocked that it went in, and I don't remember who was on the call for that game, but they made it sound so much more exciting than it probably <laughs> actually was. It was super cool. That's all, that was only my second career goal, so hopefully I can have more this year and finish with more than two goals. <laughs> well, we talked about, okay, training camp now this past week, and you guys have a scrimmage against Oshkosh and play to a 2-2 draw. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing from the team? Are you like what you see from, from everybody so far? Yeah, it's really cool having basically our entire starting lineup from last year coming back with the exception of one or two that graduated so it's it's really nice to be able to be able to have an entire season where we already played together basically with that starting lineup so we're coming in with a season under our belt and because we have so many freshmen coming in we can bring up a lot of bodies off the bench which will help us compete even more this year because we'll be able to have fresh legs and you know like I said freshmen came to compete and they, they're right at that level with us so Finally, for you, what goals maybe have you set for yourself? What do you hope this team's able to accomplish? We're hoping for another national tournament appearance. That would be really cool. I think, honestly, out of all four years that we've been here, it, it rivals my freshman year. We were really good my freshman year, but I don't know. There's something in the water this year. We're, we're coming for it. I think everybody's still kind of on their, well, I'm, I'm going to sound cringy, but that revenge tour from last season, it was definitely not the record we were hoping for, but it was, it was a huge learning curve. So I think everyone's coming for revenge this year against those couple teams that I won't name, but I think we all know who they are. <laughs> well, Sheridan, all the best this season. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, being joined by the head coach of the Falcon women's soccer team, Ryan Middendorf, back for season number 22, which is remarkable in and of itself. You go back to year 21. How do you go about recapping that 2023 season? Uh, we were really competitive in, in all of our games. I think uh, the year before we had graduated some just tremendous players that we, we had a little learning curve there to learn how to be competitive. And I think we, we did, and now, now we're on track to win, win more games. Is it just a matter of consistency? And obviously, you can summarize almost anything with consistency. But but when you look at last season, there were certainly a lot of bright spots. Was it just a matter of consistency? I I agree 100 percent. And that's what we've been talking to our team about. And one of our themes for this preseason has been consistency, um, you know, not getting too high, not getting too low and just trying to be consistent in, in what we do and our approach and how we go about things. And then our mindset too, just being consistent with that. Also, you have eight seniors on the roster. How's the leadership so far? It's been awesome. Uh, we just had a meeting with them on, gosh, it was Friday at the end of preseason and just talked to them about how impressed I've been with them. And, and we don't necessarily have one or two leaders. We, we have eight leaders in, in their own unique uh, way, and they're very authentic in the way that they do it. And they don't shy away from their personalities, which is a great thing because over the last four years, they've, they've gotten themselves to this point just by being themselves. So how have the newcomers been fitting in? I, I think really well. It's always exciting watching them grow and develop over the, the short week. And I asked them at the end of the week, like, how long do you feel like we've been together? And they're like, 
it's been like a month. I'm like, well, five days, you know? <laughs> so we, I think they've done a really nice job of acclimating to the program. And again, our, our upperclassmen are so welcoming and just some great people. At this moment, we tape this, you're getting ready for a season opener on Friday against Lawrence, but do you have a pretty good feel for the lineup, the depth, or is that still kind of being pieced together? Some of, the, some of that's up in the air, but uh, we've been talking to the group that this is, I, I feel, one of the deepest squads that we've had in, in many, many years. Um, maybe, maybe ever. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but uh, in my 22 years, I, I don't know that, that we will have gone as deep as we will, you know, come midseason. You had a scrimmage against Oshkosh. What did you see in that scrimmage? Lots of bright spots. Uh, ended up drawing 2-2, um, but had opportunities. Uh, kind of weathered a storm for a little bit, which is always nice to endure that uh, early in the season. And then, uh, yeah, put away a couple nice goals. Two freshmen scored in that, that game, so uh, that's exciting too. Obviously, this can change, but just going into that season opener, do you feel like you have a good sense of what the strength of this team may be right now? Um, I have ideas. Uh, we're, we're athletic. Uh, we have some speed uh, in certain positions that I think we can, we can take advantage of, but also experience. I mean, it, the, the eight, eight seniors that, that have been with us uh, for four and five years have been through a lot. They've been through conference championships and then they, they've gone through a, a learning season. Uh, so they, they're going to be able to carry us through, through a lot of this season. What do you expect per usual from the NAC? It's getting better. It's getting better and better every year, which is exciting. I, last year, we were obviously eight teams deep, maybe even nine teams deep. And uh, I think it's going to be much of the same, that uh, the top teams continue to get stronger and continue to get better. And the middle, middle of the pack continues to get stronger and better. So it's, that's exciting. And that's what conference season is supposed to be about, is about competitive matches. So finally, to sum it all up, for this team to be successful here in 2024, what needs to happen? We need to stay united. Uh, we can't let little little things bother us and, and knock us down. I think uh, we, we got in our heads a little bit last season. It's, it's tough when you lose some matches and you let up a goal, but how do you respond to those, those types of adversity and those, those sorts of situations? And I think this team is stronger for having last season, uh, and I'm excited to see what's to come. Coach, all the best this season. Thanks for your time. Thank you. And again, the Falcons get get done for re really get started on Friday against Lawrence. That's going to be a 2 o'clock start here from Fitting Field. For more information, check out cwfalcons.com.